Stand up and show him the best we definitely actor. definitely want him in a really bikini. Stand up. Stand up and show him the best Let me see actor. that. A fine ass. Oh, Turn around. Let me see that. You're getting in a bikini, honey. Oh, Hank's oh, wearing a so bikini old. and his b are hanging out of the bikini. Because yeah. <laughs> you can't fight alone. You gotta bring your girlfriends bitch, with bitch, you. I'm in here now. What's up? Uh, what's up? What's up? What? what? You trying to uh -oh. say Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. No, 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 no. Me? Yeah. Nothing. We're just oh, we're, we're having uh, the rock and roll thing like I did yesterday. That's about it. Well, I think it's that's good. Friday. Today's just the preliminary. No, tomorrow's the boxing match. Well, no, you're not boxing them. You're just. No, I know I'm not boxing. But you're gonna do the trivia at the boxing match tomorrow. I thought I was doing it today. No, I think today is like preliminary. Well, it doesn't matter then. Then I don't know what I'm doing. What's going on with you and Hank? Oh, um, well, I'm. He here to um play him in rock and roll uh tri trivia let's tomorrow uh oh um I, i'm um well yeah uh i well um well yeah um so i'm here today to um talk about the uh uh uh, uh upcoming uh match now, tomorrow, John the Stutterer and Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf will go at it. They're coming in today to talk about their big uh, trivia playoff. Things got pretty ugly on the phone yesterday. Hey, here's John the Stutterer. Hold on. You ugly little smelly midget. Ooh, you f***ing Oh, hey. Oh, 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 Shut up. We're on the oh, radio. You little smelly midget. <laughs> Yo, if you had another brain, you'd be lonely. <laughs> Shut up, you dumb... Bastard. You, are you two friends? I barely know the guy. Okay. I've met him, but I really don't know him. You're not afraid to take him on? No, of course not. Okay. Here he comes now, weighing in at a measly 37 pounds. <laughs> I'm soaking wet. John! With diarrhea in his pants. Yeah. John the Scrooge! Um. <laughs> yeah, you know you could stick that. John the Stutterer and Hank the Dwarf, tomorrow you will be engaged in a rock trivia contest to yeah. see who is the better man. It's a rock trivia grudge match. Right. <laughs> this is like more like, right. so, more so, like grudge. <laughs> right, so, so, Hank, are you ready for tomorrow's match? Yeah, I plan on kicking his ass. I'll kill him. I'll kill you're him. Good at, you're studying. Yeah. You're getting everything ready. Yeah, you're studying. studying. I, don't I didn't study. even know you knew how I to read. I didn't study. You ugly! You ugly! All right, here we go. Yeah, you're, a you're, you're a dummy! You're, you're a dummy! John, you've said it all. You've dumb, said it all. You idiot! Hank. You're, a stupid you're an right ugly dumb. retard! You're an ugly retard! I've had better... You're an ugly retard! You're an ugly retard! Yeah, you're right. an ugly... Yeah, yeah. Right, How right, many right. times you you're gotta repeat yourself? You're an ugly retard! You're an ugly retard. Yeah, that's how many, right. How many right. times you gotta repeat John, yourself? You John, you moron, John. John. You, you son ugly, of a bitch. You ugly retard. You whore. You ugly retard. You cheap piece of s***. You little s***. You little s***. Go die. Go die. Go die. Right, John. Go John. die. John. Go die. 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 Go have sex with your brother. All right, John, go ahead. Go right. calm down. Go you calm probably down. already had sex with your brother. All right, take your headphones off. Come on. <laughs> Benji's trying to sleep. <laughs> well, Hank, you got... John, thank you, and Well, Hank, you can see that there's some hey, he's the one who started here. first. Right? Hank, let me tell you, you're in for a match tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Before the fight, you guys are going to the ring. No, I think if I could have beaten Gary there, I could easily you could beat, beat this guy. But, Hank, you did make fun of him. You started imitating his stutter. and that's Yeah, what but he said. started first. No, I don't think so. I think so. <laughs> and that's what counts. It's not what you think. It's what Hank thinks. Yeah, it's right. Thank you. Oh, it's right. Hank, I'm going to let you sit in for this. We're going to do something very exciting now. I'm going to introduce you to Michael Buffer, Cabby, and Angry Black. This is the way in I before the big Angry fight. Black, what is that? I've already met Angry Black. You did meet Angry Black. Do you have any feelings about the fight? Who do you think is going to win? Well, I know I'm going to be there, and uh, I uh, don't know who's going to win. <laughs> like, there you go. That's the only thing he doesn't know. Expert analysis. <laughs> Well, you know, the thing about the fight tomorrow, and everyone's excited about it, because this is finally the moment we've been waiting for. 
It's in been fact, weeks uh, in the making. Yes, it's been weeks in the making. <laughs> what is your? What are you angry about? I can't take it no more. I can't yeah. take it. No more. I'm drowning in crazy. F- I'm right. tired of it. You're a crackhead. You're a pussy. I'm. You si- I'm sick and tired of you. So do something ball. about I'm it. I'm here. Angry Black is here. Oh, Downstairs or whatever. Whatever you want to do. I am here. I'm drowning. You want a okay? box? You want to do it legal? You want to do a street let's, style? Whatever you want to do. Let's do it legal. Let's me and you box. Organized, organized violence is fine with me, let's bitch. Whatever it. you want to do. Whatever I got you, it. Make, I got make it. a day. Make set a day. it up, Howard. Will you set it up? I absolutely same will. Way, the same we'll way box. my African princess was playing basketball with Dominic, I want to beat your punk ass in the ring. <laughs> so that way I don't have to go to jail, bitch. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired of you. Good. The fans are tired of you. Good. So I said to myself, you know what? Because you, you know speak what? for all the fans. Oh, you're true. True yeah. indeed. How many rounds do you guys want to go? What do you want to do? Five, six? Sure, what do you want to do? do? Five. Five's a good number. Five's a good number. Right. Five rounds I'll, of no. boxing. Yep. How, ma- how many minutes around? That's going to be two minute rounds. Two minute rounds. Two, two minutes, minute good. So, ten minutes is enough time for you two to beat each other's ass? Oh, yeah. Yep. And you're That's saying you, you can need. take him? I could take anybody, Howard. Really? Yep. When I eat your freaking lunch, you're going to see my heart. Because I'm going to rub it all over you. When I dry up in your. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to bring in now uh, Angry Black, Crazy Cabby. Michael Buffer is going to stop in because he is going to be our ring announcer. Yes. Let's get ready to get ready. Let's get ready to get ready. See, nobody can imitate that. It is never a fight until Michael Buffer announces you. Yeah, it wouldn't be a real fight unless Michael Buffer was there. Look at him. Look, look at him. He looks dapper. perfect. Hello he looks there. perfect. Congressman <laughs> Buffer is here. Uh, Let's get ready to stare at those big you know, Jeffrey makes a point. What could Michael be carrying in his briefcase? <laughs> I got to tell you something. I just, uh, you know, when two guys punch knuckles? Yeah. Me and Angry Black just punch knuckles, and Angry Black almost broke my hand. You're hurt. <laughs> you have been training, haven't you, my friend? You know, Look you're at looking looks very angry. mean. You're looking tough. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Cabby. <laughs> oh, my God. Cabby is in an Everlast black robe. That's right, Black. I'm representing. <laughs> oh my. This is the first time I get to see these guys. This is this is amazing. Michael, you've been to so many professional fights. Did you ever see anything more intense than this? Look at the face on Angry Black and look at the face on Crazy Cabby. These oh, are let two. Me tell you something. Crazy <laughs> Cabby throwing kisses to Angry Black. I flew Black. in from LA yesterday, and everybody on the plane is talking. Knew what was going. Everyone on. That, knows that black robe is very appropriate. Black and blue. That's going to be your color tomorrow. Uh, Biatch. Oh. Yeah, get some new lines. I'm, no, I'm starting right off get the bat. Lines. I'm starting right get off the bat. Get a new shirt too. A, That's no. all. You only wear one I'm shirt. A Yan- I'm a Yankee fan. Bitch, yeah, I'm a Yankee okay. fan. Yeah, I love the Yankees. Yeah, that's, that's it. Right. That's I great. know. You Michael Buffer. You're gonna need a shirt tomorrow. I promise you that. I promise you that. Hey Howard. Yeah. Can I tell you how Cabby was uh, training this morning? How? how? He's having a cigarette. Oh. Really? Oh, I had to get ready, Forget man. Him. I was on the Kane show last night. Yes. Thank you, tell you. By the way, that was very nice of you to call. Well, him. if you hadn't, he pouts on the phone, so I had to get on oh, there. Oh really? Uh, 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 I told you that yeah, I that's thought. That's right. That's right. Angry Black, the Kane show, Monday through Friday, six to ten, uh, on the radio. Uh, what you're trying to do? You never will. I like your Elvis glasses. I like your Elvis glasses. Are you gonna be wearing them to protect yourself? You know when you get your black eyes, are you gonna wear them after the fight? Nothing. Yeah, I know, little bitch. I know, I know. Yeah. It's on. I'm gonna be it's a little on. bitch. I'm your, I'm your Huckleberry. Yeah. Look in oh, my yeah. eyes, bitch. Oh yeah. Look yeah. in my eyes. I'm, I'm your Dingleberry. I'm your Huckleberry, Maybe I'm bitch. Like I'm your Huckleberry. Yeah. Now tomorrow, Michael Buffer at the start of the fight. Before we have the weigh-in, boys, let me just say this: at the start of the fight, Michael Buffer, you will be the ring announcer, and you will be the man to say, "Let's get ready for the contention for attention." <laughs> Attention for attention. Could you, you want to practice? Radio show. Go ahead. Why don't you practice that? And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Howard Stern Radio Show, uh, let's get ready for the contention for attention. Because there's never been two individuals on this planet who want attention more. Crying for it. More. Yes. <laughs> look, look at Angry Black. He's just staring him down. Angry the Black, pace, the, the intensity. intensity. I got to tell you something, Tabby. He's got the yeah. face. He just punched knuckles with me. It still hurts. Oh. Y- your fists are very strong, mm-hmm. aren't they? They got to be strong. I, yeah. pre- I prepared very hard at the training grounds in Teaneck, New Jersey, bro. Blah, I worked very blah, hard blah. at this. I ran. I did what I had to do. I'm prepared. You're going to be doing to some running tomorrow, too. I'm de- believe I'm dedicating that. this fight to Iron Mike Tyson, who's about two months away from getting his title Jeez. back. I'm dedicating this to Howard. Felix Tito Trinidad, Sugar Shane Mosley, all the true hitter- hitters out there, true fighters, tough guys. Hitters. I'm knocking hitters. the bitch out. Hitters. I'm knocking oh, the bitch up, out. Nick. Yeah. You're getting dealt with. You're getting yeah. dealt with. You got to deal with me now. I'm here. You didn't name any white fighters, You've been talking for three weeks. You had your little... 
platform on your little butt show with your right. girlfriend came. Right, and I'm I want to see you, you say that to his I'm face. I'm going to say it to Because you're a girl. Face. I know. You're I know. a girl, and I'm going to make you my girl tomorrow. Because I'm going to try hump your butt. Sure you are. I see I'm what ready. Gabby I'm has ready. done to get I'm ready for the I'm fight. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm going to give me to. some Kentucky black snake yeah, tomorrow. That's right. No, uh. right. it's Alabama black snake, bitch. Whatever. Right. Whatever. It doesn't I matter. Like I said. See that 18-inch um, neck? Yeah, it's coming it. for you, baby. It's getting snapped. You know what? I'm, I'm going to put it right it, out there I'm, so you I'm can hit it, and then I'm going to take you down. You have no clue. Listen to me. You do not know what you just got yourself into. You have no idea. I'm ready. I'm going to eat your lunch, pal. I'm going to smoke your boots. I'm gonna eat your lunch, dude. I'm gonna spit you out and chew you. You should have yeah. seen his sweet ass when he oh, yeah. walked in. He saw me my on the hallway. He started smiling. Got scared. By the way, I, I, yeah, yeah, Michael Bobby, you know why? Shook because bitch. you don't mean nothing to me. I know, I know. Because after, I know. Tomorrow, after tomorrow, I'll tomorrow, still be shit. on the radio, and you'll still be trying to get there. Does that mean you're ready I'm to gonna, lose? I'm gonna give you your 15 yeah, minutes yeah, of you know fame, what? and I then it's done. Just so-called radio job. Tomorrow, you're not even a DJ. You're not even on my. You're a bull ass BS production assistant. You make nine bucks an hour. Yeah. You know what I make? Away from getting Yeah, you know what I make. If the spots for people, how much do you make for appearances, DVD jackass? You wouldn't I didn't think so. Because you don't do whatever. appearances. <laughs> whatever. whatever. Yeah, Michael Buffer, you've been. Man. Michael, wait a second. Let me say right, something here. Hold Michael Buffer, Muhammad a Ali, and Joe Frazier, 1970. I'm do a real Michael good Buffer. tomorrow on your face. I promise you that, bitch. I promise you that. You have seen. Bitch, hold on one second, Angry Black. Michael you brought all your girlfriends with you today. All right, take it easy for a second. Because you can't go anywhere alone, can you? Because you can't fight alone. you got to bring your girlfriends with bitch, you. I'm in here now. What's up? Uh, what, you, what, you, what, you trying to uh -oh. say? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No, 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 no. Not yet. 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 What? Doing a good job. Doing a good job. Save it for me. What? Sure you're going to take it down. Sure you are. What? What? Get back there behind the podium. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wait a minute. You know what Crazy Cammy has done to get ready for the fight? What? He's grown more facial hair. <laughs> the only, only thing I hope is that you know you have these afflictions, Gulf War syndrome, and all that other stuff. Yeah, what I do you just, know about the Gulf War? Were you there? You what do you know about excuse. jumping on airplanes? I hope you what do you know about running 20 miles sure. with 100 pounds on your back yeah, for I, five I, hours? I huh? Sure what do you know? Sure you they question my heart. I'm going to show you a heart. Show when I eat your freaking lunch, you're going to see my heart because I'm going to rub it all over you. When I dry up with your. By the way, Angry Black's uh, girlfriend is in a bikini. <laughs> I'd like to have sex with you later. If I, may. If I, if you, if I could be lucky enough. No, it's not the crime of the century. But the fact is, tapping... Cabby, can you undo your robe? Is that possible? Let's see what you got underneath the robe. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? We go in our underwear. Yeah, go in our yeah. underwear. All right, okay. Uh, got, my buddy Erica, she has to undress me. Can you please bring it here, please? Erica is going to undress you? She's going to uh, undress me. Interesting. For the wow. I love that. This is, is very theatrical. Penis? Michael, can you give us a let's get ready for the weigh in? Well, ladies and gentlemen, here at the Howard Stern Radio Show, we are about to have the weigh in for the contention for attention, the epic battle <laughs> of the 21st century, featuring Angry Black, the African American pride of the Connecticut School of Broadcast. Broadcasting and Crazy Cabby, the butter bean of broadcasting, the pride of Army Airborne. Hoo-ah! Hoo ha will, be, will receive yeah. honor, glory, and bragging rights and frame while while the loser will forever be known as a hiney giant, a girly boy, butt-bumping <laughs> sissy after being dry humped by his opponent in the ring and kissing his ass. And now, Michael Buffer, I will ask you to say, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Here comes the official weigh-in, stepping up to the scales at this time, weighing in at 200, make that 295 pounds, crazy cabby. 200, 295 pounds. And I just want to say, I used to weigh 330, but Body Solutions, brother, Body Solutions. One of your sponsors. The plug yes. is there. Right. Okay, the plug is there. And now, Angry Black is standing up. Guys, Wearing who is New this York beautiful woman who just Black walked in with you, Angry Black. Black? Who is that? Is that your girlfriend? No, she's a good friend of mine. This is Erica. Hi, Howard. Erica, you are hot. Very cute. Angry Black, you can't get in her pants? <laughs> I, I could, but I'd rather keep it platonic. I'd really? Rather, really? What's platonic? your problem? That means, I'd rather that means he can. <laughs> no, not in my Are you attracted to Angry Black? He's my friend. Why not have sex with him? Friends. The F word. <laughs> I'm with someone. Really? Yeah. Well, you're going to be with me in about 10 minutes. <laughs> She's with the cabbie. She's with the cabbie. <laughs> in spirit and in mind. She's with you. You feel cabbie. that uh, Angry Black will uh, put him away? 
Look, she's down here. Yeah. Oh, you do. Wait a minute, she yeah. had to take a look. I do, I do. And your friend now is going to undress you? I'm going to undress myself and take my short, uh, my sweatpants off. She will remove my shirt, that's all. All right, okay. Yeah, well, like, go ahead, undressing. Angry Black, uh, by all means. And by, and as I step over to the scale, I'm going to control myself and not Good. assault crazy No, absolutely not. <laughs> we want to save it for the ring. Save it for the ring. And now, hey, ladies and gentlemen, stepping up to the scales. Go ahead. Wearing the New York Yankee shirt. That's with true. With number 51 on the back. <laughs> and his name, Angry Black, embroidered across the shoulders. <laughs> he shaves his legs! Oh. Uh, does he? Angry Black, is it true you shaved your legs for the no, fight? I don't shave my legs. You're just not very hairy. <laughs> You're just a hairless bitch! That's <laughs> oh, no, I know I'm your bitch. I'm let, your huckleberry. You're gonna let him him weigh in, angry. Yeah, be uh, quiet, uh, Cabby, Cabby. let him weigh in. Let him weigh in. Hold on, he's walking well, he's up. He's not in as good a shape as you no, thought, is no, he? He's got a bit of a belly there. <laughs> <laughs> Black, right? Hold it. Shh. Michael Buffett. 196 <laughs> pounds for Angry Black. 196 pounds for Angry Black. Wow. Kinte. So there is a hundred pounds difference. <laughs> <laughs> angry black. He's got I, some bitch <laughs> there. Yeah. Oh. What about the bitch he's <laughs> angry black? Well, you can't get rid of everything. Bro. Right. But, but you've been training. I've been training. The I felt your punch. I felt the, the fierce. You're going to feel it tomorrow. You yeah, are. whatever. Angry black, are you sure this is your fight? Do you want to back out now? Gee, Howard, I, I don't know. Of course not. <laughs> hey, Tabby, I offer you the same thing. Please. You, I'd rather you Please. guys fight in the ring. They were going to take it out onto the street. I said, at least put on some headgear, put on some gloves. Let's have doctors there. Let's have some, you know, some judges and refs. And let's have some fun. And, and, let's, and, let's, and let's do and it let's that way. And ready to rumble. Hey, 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 Doesn't hey, that make more sense? Ring. Yeah, that's, it that's was the humanitarian idea. effort, yes. You know, I was looking at the tail of the tape yesterday. Gives right. You, you know, gives it gives age, weight, and reach. How old do you think these guys are? Well, I thought that Cabby was about 34. And how about Angry Black? Is that right, Cabby? Well, well, oh, wait, wait. Okay, see, I'd say Angry Black's about, uh, I don't know, 36? No. Turns out they're both the same exact age. They're really? They're 31. 31? No, I'm wow. 32. You got it wrong. Oh, it's a 31 on the there sheet. There you go. Uh, I, I can't tell age, so I never right. know. This is my prediction. Angry Black is going to knock Crazy Cabby out. Wow. I'm going to try to get him in the fourth. If I can't get him in the fourth, then I'll have to take the decision. But I'm coming out. I'm throwing my bombs. I'm bobbing and weaving. I'm working behind the jab. Crazy cabby tomorrow. Welcome to the Terror Dome, bitch. Oh. Welcome to the Terror Dome. Uh, four rounds. Blah, he blah, predicts. Blah. I didn't even go four predicts rounds. Three. Right. Not, he might not get off the stool after the first. I'm yeah. knocking him out in three. Okay. okay. So it's after. Ready for it. All right. So there it is. Looks like he's gonna teeter at any minute. I just like the meats hanging out of his bikini bottom. I just think that's the funniest thing. They were pinup sensations. Two gorgeous blind twins. Filled with pent up frustration. So we can't act, we can't sing. But Shane and Sia Barbie sought comfort in calories. People laughed about our food addiction. And their attempts to control it devoured their sanity. I don't want to be known as the poster girls of barfing. It's the story you haven't heard. The messages that some of the most famous men have left on that answering machine would blow your mind. The Barbie Twins, this Sunday at 9 on the E! True Hollywood Story. Yes, Stuttering John. Can we give some I-1 money to Black's chick there to get naked? Because she's hot, man. She's she's just, what about that? How much money would it take to see yeah, you naked? No, no. I'll, give you, I'll give you a grand. Yeah. You are hot. Are you a model or something? No. She's Honey, what are you doing yeah. for a living? I'm a full-time student. I'm a bartender. Boy, what a $1,000 would do for a scholarship, huh? How old are you? You me all the drinks. 21. 21. And what are you? You're part black, right? Because you have the blonde hair mm -hmm. thing going. What are you, white parent and a black parent? Mm-hmm. Oh, I love is there that. Any American Indian in there? Yes. There Cherokee. Is. I can see. I can see. Cherokee? Yeah, man. Would you like some cabbie in there? Oh, no. Uh, holla. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> holla. Hey, yes, hey, hey. I'm sorry. Her, her job is to Thank supply you. me with all the drinks. Now, you are a beautiful woman. Is there any chance that we can offer you some amount of money to get naked? A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars of I one money. Topless. Eleven hundred. Eleven hundred. Think of how many slobs you have to serve at the bar to make a grand. Yeah. yeah. Discuss two yeah. grand. Let's go up to two grand. Two That's my final offer. Yeah, two thousand dollars. Take all your clothes off right no. now. No. You will not do it. $1, Just the no. top. Just the angry top. black say do it. Honey. Black say I'm fighting for nothing. Please take off your clothes. Somebody better make some money. <laughs> Michael Buffer, don't you think two thousand dollars is all out of this? You are. I say no. And Gary, Gary, she's got to supply. Me with all the alcohol. Look at Gary's. Uh, wait a second. Oh! What? Final what? offer. Final offer. Three thousand dollars. Think of how many Heinekens you have to sell to make three thousand dollars. <laughs> and Gary, you did an appearance at a bar too in Secaucus. AJ. AJ's. Three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars. Three G. To get naked. Plus oh, some pineapple. Man. Three grand. I can't. Plus, I can't. A, plus a piece of pineapple. 
A right piece here. of pineapple. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Jeffrey has some pineapple over there. He's throwing it he's in. Throwing it in. Don't banana. say he's not Jeffrey. Yeah, banana. Pineapple. I won't do it. Right. You will not take your clothes off. Uh, no. We we'll get a bikini. Okay, you want to get? How about a bikini? No. That's, free. That's free. Come on, that's bikini. Free, by the way, yeah. Bikini's free. You get to keep it. Sweater. All right. All right. Good. Show, show, stand up and show him the best. We're definitely no, wearing really... a bikini. Stand up. Stand up and show him the best. Let me see act. that. Get a fine ass. Oh, Turn around. Let me see that. You get in a bikini, honey. By the way, Angry Black's uh, girlfriend is in a bikini. <laughs> I'd like to have sex with you later, if I may. If I, if you, if I could be lucky enough. <laughs> I'd still Hank to get to her. Hank's wearing a bikini and his balls are hanging out of the bikini. Yeah. <laughs> look, yeah. look at his crotch, Howard. Look at his I know, crotch. Hank, your whole your whole meats are hanging out you of your know, bikini. I don't think he has the bikini yeah, yeah, on, I know that. right? That's all right. Turn oh. around. Why, what's the matter? Turn around and look at me. Turn around. Turn, turn around. around. Hey, turn, turn around. Let me see something. Look. <laughs> Tab that should be around his waist. They're not hanging out that much. No, it's all right. It's fine. They're full size. Wait a minute. Size. Yeah, he's got good, more than I do. Good. Yeah, yeah, and you're not. Are you but, jealous? <laughs> all right, take it easy, Hank. He has the pants on all wrong. Well, the yeah, thing that should be around his right waist now. is around his leg. I love this guy. <laughs> This guy rules. Who, Hank? Yeah, the, the, the waistband There's is around no one his better. leg. Hank's sitting on all my chicks in the green room in there. Yeah. <laughs> there. Well, Hank, you'll get your chance tomorrow. You're going to take on yeah. John the Stutterer. And I'll get... Get more chances to see them all over your chicks. That's right. <laughs> I want to know how right. Hank balances like that because it's it's amazing. He's got a low center of gravity. He really it's the does. only thing he but, him. It looks like he's going to teeter at any minute. <laughs> I just like the meats hanging out of his bikini bottom. I just think that's the funniest I'm thing. I'm looking at the one. Chick. Well, that's because of my underwear he's or whatever. Got, the, he's hanging call. brain. <laughs> he's got it looks like brain. he's going to climb up a wall like into he's a tree. Brain. <laughs> it looks. He's hanging brain. It looks really. I might climb up a wall. <laughs> it looks really uncomfortable. It does look like a brain. Oh, women said the it feels very comfortable. He looks like he's being strangled. <laughs> oh, Robin, it feels very comfortable. Is that I love, right? Good. I love, I, I, love, I love wearing I'm going to say clothes. something. Out of all the guys in this room, Hank's in the best shape. <laughs> Physically. <And> that's pathetic. <laughs> Glorious day. Anarchy. Pain. Despair. Cry havoc. Let's slip the dogs of war. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Like oh, wait, but finally a connection from oh, Lutz oh. and a right hook from Tabby. They're both exchanging blows in the center of the ring. This is the fight we've been looking for. I did have sex, and after I finished with Dynamite, I asked her the match. Crazy Cabby and Angry Black will be fighting today. You up, sure bitch. you are, bitch. Just shut up. Get your punk ass blah, in the blah, ring blah. and fight. Blah, 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 blah. The next time I'm here, I'm going to leave you for dead. I'll leave you for <laughs> dead, you I got Beetle King in my dressing room. <laughs> right. it, it's Finally, the morning we've been waiting for here from the WWF New York. It's the contention for attention. Two guys who need attention more than anybody on the planet. Crazy Cabby and Angry Black will be fighting today. A five-round bout, two-minute rounds, and 16-ounce gloves with headgear. And uh, I am predicting that Crazy Cabby will exhaust himself after the first two-minute round by throwing so many punches that he will literally collapse into a heap on the floor it without getting hit. He might not be able to get out of the corner. But I could be wrong. Anyway, we're uh, very excited. It's finally the, the big fight. We've been talking about this for, what, over two months? I oh, think. yeah. Incredible. Yeah, and uh, the whole place is set up beautifully. This really should have been a pay-per-view special because we have the cameras all over the place. The ring looks and professional. And look at the ring. The ring is great. We've got a big audience here anyway. And... Uh, there it is. Many of our fine sponsors, also many of our fans who we just gave tickets to. And also there are many, many celebrities in the audience. As I said, uh, let's just go through some of the people in the audience. Crackhead Bob is here. What is it, Bob? What? Is it? What? My T-shirt. My T-shirt. What about your T-shirt? Doo dudes. Doo doo. Doo no, doo. No, no, no. Doo doo. Prune juice. Prune juice. <laughs> that did, baby. All right, All right. Bob, you're predicting cra uh, uh, crackhead. Bob, you're predicting uh, crazy cabby in what round is going to win? Uh, one, two, three. T bound. Three rounds. Down. Three he rounds. doesn't want cabby to win. He says yeah. cabby's going uh, down in three. All because. How do you know this? I know. I understand that for some reason. I'm telling you because what I did. You're saying crazy cabby's going down? Only because I I did that. 
And D did that too. Right. But the, the, uh, the, the fat guy, he, he don't like that. He don't like the fat. Right. I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm done. And she is going to be done if she wants. But that's why he is going to win. In right. one, two, three, <laughs> it's going down, baby. Let me interpret. Uh, Crackhead Bob says angry black will win in the third round because he yep. doesn't do crack. He doesn't and, do uh, DAC. Or that's right. Not. He doesn't do DAC. <laughs> okay. And, uh, that's what he's saying. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's go over to Slow Adam, who is very anxious. He's raising his hand like he's in school. Thank you. Hey, I just want to say to everybody, I want to give a shout-out to Steve from uh, uh, Burger King, Carl from Track Records, and the people from Villa Capri, I want to know, I just want to say hello to everybody. And I have my prediction that the Angry Black is going to beat Cr Crazy Cabby by TKO in round number five. He's going to make, he's going to drop uh, Crazy Cabby like a bad habit. All right, there uh, it is. Hey, shut up. You're just jealous. <laughs> what are they jealous of? Slow Adam, where have you been? I haven't heard from you or anything. Hey, I, I tried to call you a couple times, and I couldn't get through. Well, you got to dial the phone, genius. I tried, honest. All right, thank you, Slow Adam. And uh, who's sitting next to you now? Who is this gentleman next to Slow Adam right here with uh, N Fruity Nut Cake? I'm Dr. Neil Berliner. I'm Fruity Nut Cake's writer and manager. <laughs> Thanks, Howard. <laughs> wow. Well, you, you want a cop to that. <laughs> yes, yes, it's true, Howard. Fruity does need a writer. What kind of... <laughs> What kind of, uh, so Fruity doesn't write her own raps, you are the genius behind her? Give her the microphone, will you? I could never hear oh this woman. Oh my gosh, you're never on mic. Dr. Berliner does all the comedy writing for Ms. Nutcake. And you are a doctor? I I'm a psychiatrist. I got the hots for Angry Black. Oh, After yeah. the fighting code, he could go jiggle my rack. Yeah! All right. All right, you wrote that, doctor? I'm not going to take credit for that. Stay tuned for more Crazy Cabby versus Angry Black. Well, it's time to stay angry with black. And it's time to for the girls. We'll be right back. That's right. The party starts May 31st. Las Vegas, please. By the way, uh, I see Beetlejuice is in the house, and Beetlejuice is dressed as Don King. I guess he's Beetle King today. I want to introduce Sean, who is Beetlejuice's manager. Sean, did you think of addressing Beetlejuice as Don King today? Yes, I did. Because I'm going to tell you something. That's brilliant. Not only thank is you, it brilliant you. because of the thought, but his makeup yeah. is wonderful. Beetlejuice really looks like Don King. Beetlejuice, how are you? Pretty great. Pretty yeah. great. You look like Don King. Yeah, I'm definitely, yes. Yeah, yeah, you definitely do. Have you been drinking this morning? Me? Yeah, Don King always drinks. What, he what is Don King drinking today? Yeah, what is Don King drinking? Oh, he drinks a lot. Of he drinks a lot. Yeah, he does. And are you excited about the fight? Me? I'm always excited about the fight. Yeah, who do you think is going to win? Who are you pulling for? Oh, I think oh, Krabby Cabby. Krabby Cabby. Krabby Cabby. <laughs> Krabby Cabby. You think Cabby's going to win what round? Oh, you probably win the like, second round. Second round. Knockout? Really? I think it is, yeah. You do, you do. Why? Because he's a bigger man? Oh, yeah, he's a stronger man. All right, that's good. Does a Beetle have any money on the fight? Did you make a bet? Me? I'll pay like, like $20,000. $20,000? $20,000 wow. on the fight. <laughs> uh, Fred the Elephant Boy, who's yes. going to win? What do you think? You're in the uh, uh, audience. This is such an exciting room right now. Even to be in the WWF New York must be exciting. I said... This is my home away from home. <laughs> thank God for Vince McMahon. Now the, thank God for Vince McMahon, yes. The yeah. WWF, I know you love wrestling as yeah. well, but by the way, wrestling is a, is a theatrical event. True. This is a real fight where guys are going to mix yeah. it up. I, as I said before, I think Angry Black will win because I don't think Cappy can have the endurance. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I see so many people in the audience. Joe Cancer is here. Hello, oh, Helen. Who do you like in the fight, Joe Cancer? Oh, I like, I, I like Cabby. Cabby. Yeah, as long as he remembers to keep the rope with him. The rope with him? Yeah, Joe when Cancer. When he gets tired, he got to, you know, come around. Daniel Carver, you've been living in the mountains of Georgia. Uh, you look a little confused by this guy, right? You're trying to figure out what he <coughs> is, aren't you? 
I can't understand what he said. Yeah. Uh, I tried he's, to, but I can't understand him. He is a white guy, though, I will tell you yeah, that. Yeah, he's, he's white. Yeah, he lost his uh, voice to uh, cancer, as a matter of fact. Yeah. yeah. Well, I still can't understand him. But well, he could still be in the Klan, though, even though he lost Yeah, he could still be in the Klan, but yeah, I can't you understand can, him. You, as long as you're white. Oh, Vin, the retard is here. Everybody loves Vin, the retard. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Your prediction on the fight, please. Angry black. Why? Because he's, uh... If it was a street fight, it would be heavy, but since this is a meeted fight and it's about stamina, angry black, Kevy won't get up for the third round. Right. Cole Bass, you're, you wrestle and stuff. You're big as a house. Who do you predict is going to win? The world's biggest bodybuilder, Nicole Bass. I got angry black. Why? I also took up boxing for a while. Yeah. And let me tell you, to get in that ring is not easy. You got to have a lot of stamina. You got to have a lot of stamina. You got to be able to hit the bag, speed bag, punching bag. You really got to know what you're doing. And I, I got my money on angry black. Nicole yeah. could kill both of them, by the way. In the <laughs> That's ring. right. Hey, let's <laughs> put me in. Yeah. Hi, pitch, Eric. What uh, is your prediction? You've done. I said crazy cabby in two rounds. Two rounds. All right. Right. Yeah. And uh, what about uh, so many people here, Robin? I can barely keep track. Hey, Howard, let me tell you something. Yes. Let me tell you something. Uh, crazy Cabby, two rounds, and I bleach my hair blonde just for Crazy Cabby. You're in love with Crazy Cabby, aren't you? Yeah. The There's thing so about many... this fight is it's gotten everybody involved. All of the audience is now fighting with each other. I know High Pitch Eric was wanting to fight with Elliot Offen. I saw that going on. What's the matter, High Pitch? I want to challenge you. Elliot Offen. Well, I don't know if your mic's on. It doesn't sound like it, does it? Elliot, I want to fight you, you f Oh, Elliot Offen. Uh, there's Elliot Offen. Let him say a few words. Elliot's here at the fight. Elliot's I dressed like a man. Uh-oh, uh -oh. and he's uh -oh. taking off his shirt, his jacket. We, I wanted to ask Elliot Offen his prediction on the fight. Elliot, uh, what, do you, what, do you, uh, what do you think? By, ver by virtue that both, both re content contenders are, are in... Downgraded health are in downgraded health and in are in ludicrous physical condition. It should be a two round, two round finish and give it to Angry Black. Why are you why are you not wearing women's clothes today like you normally do? I was going to be here in girls' g-string, diaphanous, exiguous lingerie as always. Right. However, yes. the time did not allow it. But it I takes time to, to tell, get in. I wanted to tell Eric something. Eric, you are a neoblastomer victim, a melanomer victim, a lymphnomer victim, and an adenomer carcinomer victim. <laughs> All right, Elliot, thank you. High pitch. Leave you outside, you the, ne the next time I'm here with Howard, the next time I'm here, I'm going to leave you for dead. I'll leave you for dead, you <laughs> Oh, oh, dear, the next oh, dear, time, oh, this is the anti-WWF. The next time, Come on. you against elegant Elliot Offen. Thank you, Elliot. You Thank you. Without breath. I'm Aisha. I see a wrestler from my, my past who was a great wrestler. The Iron Sheik is even in the audience, Robin. Yes, yes. I saw the Iron, Iron Sheik even holding a belt. He has his belt with him. Howard, first of all, I want to say hello to you and that pretty lady, Robin. You guys show is a, one of the top show in America. Give me hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> Elephant and Boy's also, ready to... I respect you recently. You have a lot of respect for the WWF champion like Steve Austin, Triple H, all of us. Welcome to the WWF restaurant in New York. Right. Oh, yeah. Iron Sheik, who do you like in the fight? What? He's now getting what the fight. What I like in the fight? Yes. I think Steve Austin is the greatest. Oh, and us. Who is the greatest? Steve the Austin. Oh, Steve Austin. <laughs> the fight is going to be here. Hey, Sheik, even a train comes to a here? stop. <laughs> like, oh, angry Black or Cabby? Cabby. You like Cabby? <laughs> yeah, he's on a... Cabby. Cabby. <laughs> Cabby fan. Yeah. He has no idea also, who anyone is. Yeah, All right, thank you. I want to say Thank yeah. you, Iron Sheik. Hello we'll be back. Hello to all my wrestling fans. In New York, God bless everybody. All right, every, it's a little nuts in here. By the way, over there is our uh, ring announcer, Michael Buffer, is here today. How are you, Michael? How you doing, Howard? Everybody loves the great Michael Buffer. Anyway, um, warm up the pipes for us, if you will. Just give us an well, example. Well, I can see the crowd is looking great here this, this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Howard Stern Show, uh, let's get ready for the contention for attention! Okay. 
beautiful. I got to get into it. I got to become an announcer. Well, anyway, good to have you here, Michael Buffer. I got to tell you something. I was just looking on our monitor. We can actually go into the dressing room now, if you'd like, uh, and take a look at the two fighters. Uh -huh. uh, this is uh, Angry Black, of course. You're looking at him. I don't know if the audience can see this monitor, but I can. Angry Black, how are you feeling right yeah, it's now? It's behind us. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling good, Out. You are. I'm and, real good. Uh, you look like a real fighter. I mean, you're wearing the, uh, like the Mike Tyson cutoff shirt. You got the tattoos. And we were watching a guy just tape your hands. You really look mean. You look mean. You look, <laughs> you look like a professional boxer. Oh, I'm ready to do this. I'm right. ready. This, this, is, this is the highlight of my life. You know, I'm, I'm to a point. You know, it's enough talk. Right. Enough talk. No nerves? No nerves. No nerves. Who's no. in the dressing room with you, Angry Black? My whole entourage. My boy <laughs> Ivan, Big Rob, Tariq. You know, everybody's here. Charles, you know, my brother-in-law. Dave me... from the training grounds in Teaneck. Yo, the whole posse. Team, hey, Howard, Team Angry's here, baby. Team Angry. Team Angry, yes. <laughs> See that guy right next to Angry Black that looks like he's about 11 years old? Yeah. yeah. That's his corner man. That's your corner oh. man? Wow, he's a young yeah. kid. Who is that kid? Who are you? What up? <laughs> what up? Um, Who are you? He can't hear. He doesn't have headphones. That's Tariq, yo. That's my boy, Big Rob's little son. That's his baby. That's his boy. That's your corner man. He's one of the corner man. Team angry. That's who it is. Really? And uh, who's the gentleman there, uh, the, the, the white guy behind you? Who that's, is he? That's my buddy Dave. He's owner of the training grounds located in Teaneck, New Jersey. Head trainer. He's been training you? He's been training me along with my co-trainer, Kareem. We've been doing We're doing uh, what we got to do. Cardio, run, weights. I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay. Let's go over to uh, Crazy Cabby's dressing room and see what's going on over there. Howard. Yeah. How you doing, I'm Crazy Cab. I'm doing fine. I just want to. I want to clear something up. I have. I have Tom C. Running in my dressing room, looking for uh, this uh, Angry Black's equipment. I thought he had his own equipment. Angry Black. What about that? Can you hear this? I can hear what he's saying. It doesn't mean anything. The only thing you're going to be needing is medical oh, 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 attention. Wait a second. Why do you keep sending people in for? Me yo, for, for your cup and yo, your head yo, gear. Yo, you yo. had all this stuff. They sent care. the wrong you crap to you, bitch. I'm taking your punk ass out. Punk, it's on. I'm here. You're going. You're going, bitch. You Just can... shut up. Get your punk ass blah, in the blah, ring blah. and fight. Blah, blah, it. blah, blah. You know what? I'm going to knock you out. I know you are. <laughs> oh, man. Only <laughs> you know, way you knock me out is you lay on me, bitch. Hey, Howard, Howard. Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting, uh, Howard, I'm sitting here with uh, Bernard Hopkins, Zab Judah. I got Beetle King in my dressing room. <laughs> right. It, it, it's on. Uh, uh, I got, I got, listen to they're all there. I wish this was on pay-per-view. If you could see what was going on, ladies and gentlemen. Beetlejuice is dressed as Don King Listen standing to next to Crazy Cabbage. You Cabin. see the hardware I brought with me? Yeah. This is what's been training me, okay? Oh, my. I got, yeah, I I got world champions in my state. I know. I know. All right? I know. See that? I got world you got champions world in champ. my state. You got world champions. I'm going to knock you out, Sure bitch. you are, bitch. Sure you are. Crazy Cabbage. I'm ready for it. Yeah. I want it. Let me talk to Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, what's going on in there? What do you want? What? Million dollars. He gets what he wants. <laughs> Million dollars. Cabby, introduce some of the boxers that are okay, in your I, dressing I've room. I've got here. the uh, junior welterweight champion, Zab Judah. Say hi, Zab. Let's go. We ready for you. We ready. We Have ready. you seen Cabby fight? Tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Cabby I don't, fight? I don't think you've met Cabby before this morning. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you've ever met him before. Listen, we trained Cabby, and Cabby's ready. Yesterday we had a full, a full exhibition of... <laughs> Uppercuts and hooks and body shots and Cabby's ready. Oh, really? Right, you, you saw him fight. Ask Bernard like... Hawkins. Ask him. Ask him. <laughs> Chip. No, let me ask Cabby's you. ready. Take it on, man. He's did working you... on everything. Did you I'm see him fight? You, man, you're in trouble, man. Did you see him fight? This guy here is going to come and take care of business. Have you actually seen him fight? No, but I've seen him hit the bag and I've seen him train. And being a seven-year world champion, I see raw talent. You do? Okay, all you right. like the way he looks? Oh, I like the way he looks. What guess, round? Do you predict a knockout? Two rounds. He's going to beat the body and he's going to give the head up. Really? Unbelievable. Right. Crazy Unbelievable. Cam Crazy Cammy has some of the uh, <laughs> biggest boxing names. That's in, a Zab uh, Judah. He got it. The Falcons got it all to control. Beetle Juice. Uh, it does all 29 right here. He's going to get it all. Be Beetlejuice, who do you like in the fight? Are you saying Crazy, crazy Cabby's going to win? Hey, hey, he's from Puerto Rico, and I got him there, and I got him there. He's going to win it. Uh, Howard, yeah, go ahead. Howard, it's on. It's on. Let's, let's do this thing. All right. On, everybody it's out. On. Everybody All right. out. That's it. It's on. You ready, Angry it's Black? On. I've been ready for day one when I walked in there. Hi, I'm Jules Asner with your E! News Update. Supermodel Nikki Taylor's lawyers have launched an investigation to find out what caused her near-fatal accident last month. Taylor remains in critical condition in Atlanta Hospital. And join us tomorrow as we join Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones at a lavish sports award show in Monaco. Be there for E! News Daily weeknights at 6.30. We're your source for entertainment news.
This news update brought to you by BMW. Hey, you know, I'm dying to hear from Bert Sugar and uh, Jerry Cooney. Bert, uh, I want to know, you've been, uh, you're, you're considered a fight expert. You're a guy, I watch you on TV all the time. I, you know, I see that you're... My condolences. Yeah, but you, you're always with the hat and the cigar. That is your... Well, how did you come up? How did you become such a boxing expert? You never boxed, did you? As an amateur, I was the great white hopeless. <laughs> but let me ask you a question. Isn't a fight like this more exciting when you have a, uh, an amateur bout, you got crazy cabri, angry black? I was looking on the internet at the odds, and it's almost dead even in what really? people think. They, because they don't know what to think. It is a true grudge match. It is two guys that really do not like each other. Isn't this more exciting in a way than a professional bout? Could be. Yeah. Yeah, it depends on how it comes out. Who are you predicting? Crazy Cabby, Angry Black, you've heard some of the hype. What do you, what do you think we're going to be looking at today? Well, Crazy Cabby, uh, and I've dated girls that weren't built as well as he is. <laughs> right. Uh, so I, I have to think that Angry Black has a great chance here. You do. Okay. But I'll be surprised if they can hold their hands up by the second round if they know what boxing is. I see. So you're looking for Angry Black to win this. Oh, I think this will be a great moment in boxing history. All right. Well, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, Jerry Cooney is no stranger to the ring. Jerry, how are you? Howard, how are you? Robert, how are you? Hey. What an honor to have you here. What an honor to have you. What a crow. What a crow, huh? Yeah. Jerry, you, you're the man. You know about fighting. Uh, Jerry, what are you looking at? What do you, uh, who do you like in this fight? Well, you know, the road of the fight is very difficult, and these guys are going to find it out tonight. Right. And uh, um, they're going to, I think it's going to go about one minute. You one do. minute? You don't even think they can get through a round. <laughs> you predict a one-minute fight. I think that, yeah, you know, you, you know, inexperienced guys, they don't know how to breathe in there. Right. Uh -huh. When the bell rings, they're going to throw it right in the back there. I was walking through. You're saying the excitement of the fight, the adrenaline is pumping, you start to throw wild punches, and you exhaust yourself. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of, a lot of time left over for, for, for these crowd. Maybe you and I get in there a little bit. <laughs> we I'm might need to. Howard, <laughs> Howard, yes, Howard I, just, I just want to tell you, every time you ring the bell, six or seven boxers in the back start hitting That's each right. other. <laughs> no, we do have a lot of boxers in this room. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Howard. Yes. Speaking of one of the boxers we have, I don't know if there's any animosity at all, but uh, Ganji told me that when you introduced Jerry Cooney, Iran Barkley started like shaking his head. Oh, Is that really? right? Iran has something to say. Iran Barkley, the great hey, fighter. I don't know what's going Listen, on. Let, let me tell you, I'm having trouble back here, Howard, right here. Really? <laughs> he's, asked me if, he's asked me to drink out of the black bottle. Oh, Hank the Angry Dwarf is bothering <laughs> that's you? That's right, that's well, right. Let me just say something. Iran, do you have a problem with Jerry Cooney? I'm bothering Jerry Cooney. Do I have a problem with Jerry? Because we'll take it right now into the ring. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jerry, what's where, the where, story? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Get him. <laughs> Go get him, Jerry. What's the Hold story, back. Jerry? <laughs> Iran, what is going on back there? You look beautiful today. Uh, you're a great boxer. Uh, Iran Barkley is a great man. Great man. A great man. Jerry, you have no problem with Iran Barkley, do you? No, no, no. no. I have no, no problem with him neither. He's my buddy. Iran, oh. they say that... They're trying that, to start something, man. They're saying that you might get back into the ring. You might start fighting. I might get back in the ring? Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. What do you like in Angry Black and Crazy Cabby? Yesterday you weren't really clear. You were, you were like, picking, uh, you were actually he picking. He picked the black guy. He picked the black guy and then you like Crazy Cabby's attitude. Give me a prediction right now. Right now? Yeah. Always bet on black. Bet on Angry Black. Bet on black. Now, Daniel Carver, you disagree. You don't always bet on black. You're from the Ku Klux Klan. No, you don't always bet on black. He might, he might be stronger and, and, and have more in strength, but he don't have any brains. That's where the white man makes up the difference at. Does it oh, matter to you? Wait, 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 Now you're making it, now you're making a, a, a racial thing. Uh -oh. Right. The white man, you know what I'm saying? Right. Why you got to go there? You Why you got to go there? Why you got to ruin it, Daniel? You ain't got to make it a racial thing. Uh, if it you ain't black. white, it ain't right. <laughs> if it ain't white, it ain't right. Daniel uh, uh, has very strong feelings about this. Iran, we'll see what happens in the ring. Howard, you got to see what's going on over here. Gabe Ramon is sitting right in front of him. Look yeah. at his, look at his ass. His ass is hanging out. Uh -oh. Hey, Ramon, sit down. Stay, uh, no. stay between the two of them. Yeah, look who he's got his arm around there. Birds of a feather flock together. So. <laughs> All right, what easy, Gay Ramon. Easy, Gay Ramon. Hey, by the way, let me introduce Marianne from Brooklyn. She's wrapped She's in She's wrapped in, a... in the flag. All I need is Howard in my life. Marianne will be singing the Star Spangled Banner today before the uh, big fight. Are you uh, all set to sing? Yes, I am. I practice all week. All right, very oh, good. Tell. Say does that Star Spangled Banner yet wave? Wow. You sound great. You sound great.
used to be your biggest fan, now I'm gonna kick your freaking ass! All right, Dallas, I'm about to get in the ring. Left, right, hooks. They're both exchanging blows in the center of the ring. This is the fight we've been looking for. And then you did Larry King, and you said you that didn't want no any publicity, uh, but your brother had died two days ago, but you had to go. <laughs> Wouldn't you love to hit me? Wouldn't I you would. love it? I would. Yeah, Angry black. Hit me. Angry hit me black. In the face. Oh my god. You dumb little idiot. Oh, stop. Oh. <laughs> yeah, go f yourself. Oh. No more talk. No more talk. Cammy's wearing done. some. Wait a I'm second. Done. Then why do you keep running your yeah. mouth? Shut your hole and get your equipment. Let's put it Angry on. Black has left his dress and he's yeah. fighting Tom Chiasano. Uh, Let's get her ready to rumble. In just a couple of minutes, we're going to have the undercard. Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf. There's a crazy guy up there who just keeps screaming. Oh, okay. I didn't know what was going on. Shut up so I can talk. Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf will take on uh, John the Stutterer in a trivia match. Uh, John the Stutterer, are you ready? Oh, yeah, of course I am. Want to do that one now? We're Where gonna is do that it? moron? What? He's behind Where is you. that moron? He's right behind you. That moron is right behind you. Oh, oh, Howard. It's all right. I can still ask him the questions. I just don't have to look at him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shut He's... up, you little munchkin. There's a guy upstairs saying that J John the Stutter is gay. Shut up, you Yeah. Oh, my God. Listen, okay. I want to fight you. I'll the fight you, Ken. Daniel Carver looks really you, happy. Ken. Me and you, you little I'll pussy. You, Me and you. I'll fight you, Ken. Now, who is this guy? I'll fight you, Who are you? I'm solo. Ken Solar! You're Solar? Ken Solar the alien! You are Solar the alien, the guy who talks about you, Guido, you <laughs> Go to hell, Guido! You Go to hell, Guido! I'll take Go to hell, Guido! <laughs> Have sex with your mom! Eat me! Go to hell, Guido! All right, we gotta take a break. There's a fight breaking out. Hold those two guys back. thrown out! All hell is broken loose here. thrown out! I wonder what Jerry Cooney is thinking. Jerry, uh, we, as we get closer to the fight, you've gotten a chance to see our two fighters. Any predictions? I think it's going to go less than two rounds. <laughs> Bert Sugar told me he's never seen an event like this in his no. life in all his years of boxing. Is that right? This is, this is, I tell you, this will raise the level of everything about two feet. <laughs> yeah. And they tell, me, they tell me that boxers are brain damaged. Look at this audience. We decided to do a rock and roll trivia contest between these two guys who hate each other so yes, much. Yes, yes. And uh, I'm going to begin. John the Stutterer, I'll start with you. We're gonna, we're gonna, but we're going to be nice during the question. You're going to be nice during the question? I am, as long as he doesn't start with me. John the Stutterer, <laughs> you... uh, you're the one who started with me, Stut so I Stut simply defended myself, so you shut the hell up. Oh, no, you little why? No, no. You started no, with me, and I dumb defended dumb. myself. You dumb little idiot and I defended myself you dumb little idiot you started the whole thing all right Everyone let's start it let's, all right let's go. John your question Everyone is coming Everyone agrees with me Casey this is gonna be rough Robert I, I know you started I'm losing the whole control thing. rapidly John your first question name the guitarist who replaced Brian Jones in the Rolling Stones oh Mick Taylor, easy one. All right, Mick Taylor, All that's right. one point that's for John. That's one point for John. Hank, did you know that one? Yes. That's right. easy. I'm a big Rolling Stones fan. All right, uh, Hank, name the guitarist who replaced Mick Taylor. Ron Wood. That is correct. John the Stutterer. Name the guitarist from Chicago who accidentally shot himself in the easy head. Easy one, Terry Kath. Terry Kath is correct. Wow. Easy. All right, Hank, yeah. the angry drunken dwarf. What's David Bowie's real name? David Jones. David Jones Another is correct. Easy one. That is correct. Name the Grateful Dead's guitarist Bob Weir's Bob Weir's side band that he played with. Oh, a rat dog? Wrong. Go to Hank. Uh, Hank, do you know the answer? The Collywogs? No, the answer was Kingfish. I think we're back to John. Yeah, John. Yeah, it is John. John, what band? was Randy Bachman in before he formed BTO. Uh, oh, the guess who? That is correct. Wow. Easy. That one. I know. Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf. Robert Fripp was the founder and lead guitarist of what popular early 70s British band? King Crimson. That is correct. Hank. Yeah. We've got a 
contest. I'm Aisha Tyler, host of Check Out the Online.com or Kalua.com. John the Stutterer. Ted Nugent had a big hit in the late 60s with a one hit wonder band. Name the band. Oh, uh, I know this. Oh, man. What the hell's the name of the band? Oh, man. I know that band. Oh, I know it. I know it. What the, uh, oh, the Amboy Dudes. Yeah. Right. I know Very that one. Yeah, good. Journey to the Center of the Mind. Yeah. Journey to the Center of the Mind. Yeah. That's right. right. Very good. Very good. He's right. He's right. He's right. Hank. Are Shut up. Ready? Up there, Zolar, you Wait retard. Okay, I hope okay, you okay, die. Okay, okay. And go have sex with your mom, Zolar. What a retard. Uh, Hank, your question. <laughs> yeah, well, that's if I can hear it. Zolar. I just want to hear it. I want a mic on Zolar. I want to Zolar, don't Zolar. die. All right, here we go. Zolar is yelling out crap. He's just yelling out <laughs> <laughs> You're a ho, oh, Zolar. All right. Hank, the angry drunken dwarf. Big time. Oh, oh boy. You're gonna lose to the little dwarf. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Look at him shaking his legs. His pee pee's getting excited. So, why don't you go have sex with I'm Ralph? Over here, oh. Why? Why don't over you go here. have sex with Ralph? Over here. So one time I'm sucking up for us. Why don't you go have sex with Ralph? All right, now let's oh. go to Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf. All right, all right. Neil Young was in two different bands to make it into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Name the two bands Neil Young was in. The Buffalo Springfield, of course, we're still smashing Young. That is correct. Very good. Heavy Metal Thunder is the lyric from this 60s classic song. Oh, uh, Born to Toby Wild, Steppenwolf. Right. He's right. Um, wow. I'll He's give him good. credit with credit stroke. Did you like that? Well, I'm sticking up for you. What are you talking about? Oh, stop. Oh, <laughs> yeah, go f yourself. Oh, okay. oh. Hank. Hank. <laughs> All right, Hank, your turn. All right. I'm going to name an album. You tell me the group. Eat a Peach. Almond Brothers. Correct. John the Stutterer. Goat's Head Soup. Sure. Oh, the so, Stones. So, yeah. 73, 1973. Hank, this is your question. All right. Name the album. You name the group. Days of Future Past. The Moody Blues. Right. John the Stutterer. Four-Way Street. Oh, uh, the Crosby, Stills, and Nash and Young. Wow. That's right. Hank, what was the first Led Zeppelin album that had a title that wasn't a number? Uh, Houses of the Holy. That is correct. Wow, oh, Hank, Michael. you pulled that one out. Whoa. John the Stutterer. <laughs> what album was the song Houses of the Holy on? Oh, Physical Graffiti. That is correct. Man. Hank, name the lead singer for the Spencer Davis group. Steve Winwood. That's correct. John the Stutterer named the priest in Eleanor Rigby. The priest? Yeah. Uh, that I don't know. I know this one. Hank, what's the answer? Father McKenzie. That is correct. <laughs> Hank moves ahead. It's Holy eight Mac. to six. Eight to, is it eight to six or eight yeah. to seven? Wow. Well, he lost the point. Wow, he, he did lose yeah. a point. Yeah, eight to six. John. You need to come back here. It's very dangerous when you miss. All right, I believe it's Hank's turn, though. Yeah. This is a real chance for Hank to move ahead. Hank. Come on, Johnny Baker. Name the drummer of Queen. Uh, that one, I, uh, I, Brian May. Wrong. No. Let's go to John the Stutterer. No, that I don't know. The guy's oh. name is Roger Taylor. Yeah. Wow. Fortunately, now the score is seven to, I think, five. I think you lost a point for that one. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Who's leading? You're leading, Hank. I only uh, have one more question left. Let's wow. See. Well, oh. this, this could tie it up, or Hank could run away with it. People are making too much noise. All right, here we go. Hank, who released the hit in the summertime? Mungo Jerry. That's correct, yeah, Mungo Jerry. That. Hank pulled it out. The final score. He's still the champ. Is eight to five, Hank. Hey, Get slow on the Adam is screaming. Slow Adam, what is your problem? Slow Adam is yelling. What is it? What is Slow Adam is all upset? Hey, for you. What is it? I'll, I'll tell you right now. I'm glad Hank won. Hank kicked your ass, you fruitcake. Oh, come on. Kick your ass you right freak. now. Come Shut on. up, you retarded hey, freak. There's a lot of fighting. Shut up, you retarded <laughs> freak. Come on. Adam, slow Adam, what, what do you got to get? Shut up, you retarded freak. Slow Adam, what is your problem? Slow Shut Adam. Up, you sick. 
You retarded freak. Slow Adam, what is your problem? Why do you? I'm from Doyle, South Pennsylvania, and where I come from, we eat pussies like you for we eat pussies like you for breakfast. Uh oh. Hey, fruitcake, come up. No, 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 no. All right, we got to take a come break. When we come back, I'm going to go. Free. Come on, put whip, whip, come on, put drip cheese on my sphincter. Oh. It. Oh my go on, go on, you fruit! Okay, go on. All right, we're gonna be, we're gonna be. My sphincter. All right, you Hank, suck, you pussy. Hank, Hank, Hank. What's up? No. Hank, I don't want to get yeah. my penis, you Hank. Oh my goodness, Hank. I'm not. Slow, yeah. Adam. Slow Adam, slow Adam, slow Adam, Woo! slow Adam. What? I've never seen what? Slow Adam upset with anybody. Why are you giving anybody? John the stutterer such a hard time? He told me to say this. Oh, oh he told oh. you to say it. Sal. Sally, I haven't said one thing. I'm just <laughs> helping him out. He's a little slow. Yeah. I'm giving him some assistance. That's all. <laughs> Put cheese on my sphincter. Well, I'm a little I'm slow. A you gotta want to wash. Put whipped cream on my. A whipped cream on my. I'm just uh, helping. All right, Hank. <laughs> you're not, you're Hank. Me. What? Hank, how do you feel? You, you won. You won. I won just, twice. What's the matter, John? Hank just kicked me. Hank just kicked me. He did? I don't yeah, think he did. Throw him out. Yeah, throw him out. He just kicked all right, me. All right, all right, all right. Let's break it up. Throw him out. Yeah, throw him out. Yeah, throw him out. He just kicked me. All right, go ahead. Separate yeah, you guys out. out. Hank, out. you took the uh, win. Juggle your <laughs> with my <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. All right, hey, guys. I'll kick you out. You're the fruit. I'll box you back. You retard. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be back. Uh, right after these words. Lunch and dinner, you freak. It's Peter nice. Juice, and, then, uh, and I'm Hank. We're here with the Scores Girls. Yeah, Don't go yeah we're Hank. The hand on my ass is okay, but in the oh, is a little. Uh... Hey, be, nice. be nice, be nice. All right, better. It's Beetle Juice. I'm with Hank and the Scores Girls. I'm Hank, and here with Angry Dog with my old ladies for Scores. <laughs> oh! You have to be nice to my girl. No, if I didn't say hi to him, that would be more rude. Well, they're my girlfriends. Hey. So, yeah. I can say, uh, yeah, yeah, they're your girlfriends. I got, I got more girlfriends hey. than you do. Oh! What's going on? You gotta be nice. Be oh. nice. Uh, I got more girlfriends you than you do. Me? I'll take you in the ring right now and draw your ass. <laughs> I'll draw your little ass. I didn't, talk, I didn't say I'll your sister. I'll draw your ass out the f***ing ring. Whoa! Hey, now! Want me, hey, want me to toss your ass right here? I'll toss your ass right here. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You said your mom. Your mother? Never well, said yeah. my mother, because I dropped you right here. <laughs> All right, enough. Guys, make up. Stop, stop throwing names in. I'm telling you, it's the best tip you'll ever get. Hey, Howard, you know who's here? Um, our our uh, play by play guy, Brett Haber. You know what I found out oh. about Brett by reading the notes? Yeah. We, uh, announcing our fight today is a nine time Emmy winner. Uh, wow. Really? Brett, wow. you won nine Emmys? Yes, it's true. Why are you ruining your career by being here today? That's a good question. My agent asked me that just this morning. <laughs> Brett Haber is a uh, world renowned uh, uh, play by play man and sportscaster. <laughs> He's done some pretty good stuff. You know, he was at ESPN, and uh, most recently he did uh, the NCAA, you know, uh, on Tournament? On, yeah, on CBS. So, uh, Brett, you're ready. You're, you know what you have to do. We're fully prepared. So uh, what I want to do is uh, get back into the dressing rooms. There's some controversy here at the fight. Uh, Angry Black and Crazy Cabby are finally going to duke it out for five rounds. Uh, Angry Black, I'm starting to believe you don't really want to win. It's not a question of me not wanting to win. There's been I, a little glitch. I that heard little... that you didn't bring your headgear and you didn't bring your cup. My head trainer Pussy. brought the gear. Pussy. His car broke down. Yeah. We're in the process oh. of getting it. Don't worry. Pussy. Cabby, I ain't going nowhere, sweetheart. I'm still here, baby. Best Cabby, did you bring your headgear and no your problem, uh, baby. cup? No problem, baby. No problem. I brought everything and I brought world I'm, champion I'm, hardware. And remember guess, what I said? And I'm, guess your what? And guess what? I'm your Huckleberry. I'm your Huckleberry. No. I'm your Huckleberry, little bitch. I'm your Huckleberry. Remember what I said, bitch? Biatch. You're Is not, this gonna I don't need a cup. You as long as I got the head gear, I don't need no cup. Gear. I don't need no cup. Sure, I don't need, need no cup. You need a cup. Shut I need a head gear. Hole. I know. The that's only so pie hole that's gonna be shut is yours, biatch. I'm knocking you out. Now, Pussy. Can't be. see you in the ring, Angry Black. You'll that's see all me. I gotta say. I'm not gonna be hard. Hey, Howard. To You'll Howard. See Howard. Me. Wait. wait. See First, you gotta get your equipment, bitch. Don't worry about it. I'll have the equipment. <laughs> hey, Howard. Angry Black. How do you I just forget need the equipment? I don't need the cup. I just how do you need forget your equipment? Oh, I don't need the cup. You don't, yeah, you yeah. don't need the cup because you don't have nothing down to protect, Cabby. Protect. Protect. Little bitch. You don't have it. Howard, you got that other thing. Pull the poop out of your mouth. Hey, Howard. Yeah. You know, I'm in Cabby's dressing room. Look at his uh. 
food that he's eating before the fight. <laughs> he's what got are gummy those? bears. Are those he's got, gummy, like, gummy bears? Bear oh, those are jujubes. Let me tell you Juju something, bees? Cabby. Let me tell you something. Blah, the blah, weak blah. and the frail shall be smashed. Dude, you couldn't even I'm bring your gear. I'm breaking your neck, BF. You couldn't even bring your gear to the I, fight, you little bitch. You're right. I don't have a gear. I don't need to cut. Yeah. As long as I got the headgear. Yeah, yeah. You're getting knocked out, punk. Angry Black, how can we not have headgear in your cup here? I got the headgear, big man. It's all good. I don't have a cup. I don't got the cup. Somebody get me a cup down here for Where's the headgear? Show it in here since a little fairy. Yeah, right. Where's the headgear? Did look, you watch how Seam Rockman hit look, Lennox sweetie. Lewis? Look, sweetie, yeah. I got the headgear. You know what? Bitch. You're not you know getting what? off when that it, easy. When it's, when it's all done, I'm going to take that girl away from your corner, no, too, because no, no, she no, came no, over no, and gave me a no, kiss sure this she morning. Did. Sure, she did. You ain't taking hey, Jack from me, yes, bitch. John. I, uh, I'm not dead Cabby, body. Uh, you got to take uh, me out, bitch. Shadow boxing before? What? I saw Cabby shadow boxing back here. Yeah. Put the money on Angry Black. <laughs> and plus, the you know, the Kevin, hey, Howard, Kevin's rage, wearing bitch. some, like, days of rage, bitch. I'm breaking your punk ass neck. Howard, Kevin, on. No more talk. No more talk. Kevin's I'm wearing some. Wait a I'm second. Done. Then I'm why done. do you keep running your what? mouth? What? Shut your hole and get your equipment. Let's play. Hey, Angry Black is walking out. Wait a minute. Kevin's going to wear his own. Angry Black has left his dressing room. What is that? Angry Black has left his dressing room. He's fighting Tom Chiasano. Wait a minute. Where's he going? Where is he going? He's come back. He's back. He's back. He's back into his dressing room. Where was he going? Where was he going? I think he was coming to... Uh, Angry Black, where were you going? Oh, he, he where were you? He's he he where were you going? Now I was going over to put my foot in his ass, but uh, I'm going to do it in the ring. Uh, All right, do it in the ring. Get your cup and let's get this fight going on. Get your cup. Where is the cup where now? Where is your cup? Hey, you got to get that cup on and let's get this fight going. Hey, Howard? Yeah. What? Cabby's wearing some weird, like, protective belt, though. Is that allowed in this Cabby, what are you wearing? It's called a cup. No, it's on your back, too. It's a cup. All right. You know what a cup is? I never saw one that big. Shut your pie hole! <laughs> you want some? Cammy, I'll kick your ass and you know it. Please. Oh, Please. my God. It's what? called a cup. You want to see it? Yeah, let's see your yeah. cup. Yeah. yeah. Pull it down. Show me the cup. Pull my pants down. I ain't even black. <laughs> That's his cup. He is wearing a cup. <laughs> that is a fighter's cup. That's that what it looks fighter's... like, Angry Black. Brett you Haber. Do not remember? Brett the Haber. The trainer couldn't remember? <laughs> you little bitch. You are wearing you your cup. Put your gloves on. That's unfortunate. <laughs> what, the cup? Seeing that. I got world champions. <laughs> That's not breakfast I material. I got world champions pulling my pants up. You got guys who can't even bring your gear. You're so done. You've You're been up way more sleep. than you can chew. You're going to sleep, little Nancy. You're going to sleep. All right, You're let's see. You're going to sleep, hey, little Nancy. Let's let the box go. Go. Let's I'm putting you out. It's Angry Black, how far away from me getting a cup here? As soon as Gary brings it in, we on. Let's go. Right, we okay. lacing up. What Does happened? anybody know where that person Gary, is? Gary, are we close to getting a cup? We think it's close. We, we think we, it's, it's close. It's this on, is insane. It's on its way down it, from Howard. I mean, I got to say, Crazy Cabby came prepared. If it doesn't come, we go with the head. I don't need the damn cup. We bang. Let's do this. Howard, I have a suggestion for the cup. Go ahead. We could pluck one of Gary's teeth and just put it in the front of uh, Angry Black's crotch. You know what, You know what, Sal? The truth of the matter is that should be me and you in there today if you weren't such Are a those pussy. your lips on that? Yeah. I called you out. You got it, Punk! You got it! Let's go right yeah. now in the ring. I called you out to If fight. I'm not there, stop without out me, monkey boy. And you pussied out like the girl Look you are. Look at those teeth. Was this boxing ring Why won't you get in the ring with me? Mouth? Have you guys ever seen Head. anything like this? Oh, Head. Head. Bash me in the face. When we come back, this fight is starting. Wouldn't you love to hit me? Wouldn't you love it? I would. Me. Angry me Black. Oh my goodness. When we come back, I'll have uh, Mary Ann from Brooklyn singing the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah. One way or other, we're going to have a fight. If One we way. have to let Sal and Gary go at it, we're having Somebody's a Somebody's going to be fighting. Hi, I'm Jules Asner with your E! News Update. Robert Downey Jr. pleaded innocent to felony and misdemeanor drug charges today. The court appearance stems from his arrest last year in Palm Springs. And join us tomorrow for coverage of the funeral services for Bonnie Lee Bakley, the murdered wife of actor Robert Blake. Be there for E! News Daily weeknights at 6.30. We're your source for everything in entertainment news. This news update brought to you by BMW. On June 1st, only... All right, let's bring up Stone Cold Steve Austin right now. With Triple H? With Triple H. Two huge men. <laughs> Look at the size of these guys. 
Stone Cold, you just saw two guys who are really pissed off at one another. Did that scare you? Yeah, what, I, I saw you look. You were kind of amazed by this. I, yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't, I don't know, what, know what the whole backstory is, but I'm looking forward to it. It's going a lot to of violence here. I, I feel mean, right at home. Triple H, Stone Cold, this is a big fight. I mean, these two guys, this is going to be a real fight in the sense that these guys hate each other. They're I really mean, angry they at really each other. They really hate each other. Gabby needs to calm down, otherwise he ain't even going to make it to the ring. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, just, just judging by Cabby's past performances, I'm saying he's going to go down probably for a blow in the third round. <laughs> really? <laughs> Some kind of blow in the third round. Okay. Yeah, a, a, if there's an offer of a blow in the third round, he's going down for it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, when you look at these two guys, you guys are both <laughs> muscular. You're both uh, good fighters in your own right. But you guys got into shape for yeah, what I mean, you, you guys do. Are in shape. You, you guys have you guys when you wrestle or you box or something like this aerobically, you got to be in some kind of condition. You can exhaust yourself, can't you? Do you? <laughs> yeah. no, you know Steve's why I got say this that? Good beer drinking regimen. He does it. Cabby has been training by walking into the ring and eating mashed potatoes. Honest to God, he feeds pigeons in the park and watches them fight over the bread. He's doing like mental exercises. Don't you need to have some kind of physical conditioning? I would imagine it would help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Angry Black's been out running. He's been trying to at least get himself yeah, in physical condition. Yeah, he goes into the gym and actually works He's out. He's got an angry workout that he does that seems to be working for what him. What about the fact that Crazy Cabby is 100 pounds heavier than the guy, though? Can that help him? If he, if he hits him early, maybe. You know what I mean? He's going to have to get in there early and try to knock him out with one shot because he's probably only got about four or five swings in him. So... <laughs> Yeah, I say after the first round. It's yeah, all he's, he's history. Stone Cold, be serious. You first. What What is your prediction on this fight? You know something about both fighters. Give me your prediction in what round. I got to go the cabbie. The cabbie. Yeah. I like the whole gimmick. Will all we right. see a knockout? Uh, I, don't, I don't think you're going to see a knockout. I think one of them going to quit. You think one of them will have a heart attack I, and die? I think one of them going to have a heart attack. I don't think I can hit hard enough to, <laughs> to knock anybody out. But I'm going with the cabbie. And Triple H, what's your prediction? I'm going to go with Angry Black. I think Cabby's going to peter out in the first round. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> yeah. I think the guy's going to collapse onto Angry Black and knock him out. Yo! His only chance is if hey, his gut Stone expands Cole. enough to whack him. Slow out and knock him out. I challenge you to a fight right now. Who do you challenge to a fight? I, how about, yeah, I challenge you to a fight. For the world heavyweight belt. I used to be your biggest fan. Now I'm going to kick your freaking ass. What's he saying? <laughs> he wants you. He's calling, He's calling you, you out. He's calling you out. Tell the son bitch to get in the what, ring. What, get in the ring right now, slow out. You freak! He's retarded. Give him a chance. <laughs> okay. Come on! Oh, say can you see by the dawn early light. Here we go. We have resumed once again. Left jab from Cabby. He's getting the punches in, but Angry oh. Black looks for doing it. Oh. And Crazy Cabby is down! Man, your boobs look great in that outfit. <laughs> Oh. Even your nipple is out already. Yeah. Look at that. It's already <laughs> out. Look at out? that. Yeah, you can see it. Look at that. You don't even care. You love it. There. You love it. Oh. Because it but the show does go on. Keep it fair. Keep it clean. Yeah. Stay apart. Listen to my commands at all times. Okay, good luck to both of you. Cabby, no eating in between rounds. Right hooks and Crazy Cabby responds, swinging wildly with no direction and purpose. A right hook from Angry Black. They exchange punches one after another. This is the best action we've seen in the fight so far. Uh, let's get her ready to rumble! I want to introduce you to our judges and our referee. Great. Because yes. we have some really good people here. First Where of all, one of our judges, one of the, one of the great fighters, Hector Camacho. Hector Camacho is here. Hector, uh, you will be fair and you will be honest. I'll go for the black guy, that's all. <laughs> is that right? How judge Wait that? a minute. Come on, Hector. <laughs> Hector, I need you to be... I we need, need you, you to be, be fair. I need you to be fair. Hey. Uh, he don't care. All right. <laughs> Who's okay. our next judge? I have an Olympian here, an Olympian here, Olympic uh, gold medal winner, Mark Breland. Mark Breland is here. Yeah, hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. You know? Mark, uh, have you ever judged a fight before? Yes, amateur. Amateur fights? Well, this will be very amateur. <laughs> this is as amateur as it gets. I think so. All right, let's meet our third judge. Our third judge, another boxing legend, Arturo Gotti. Yeah. Arturo Gotti. How you doing? Arturo, how are you? Very good. Yourself? Uh, very good. And you will be fair and open-minded when you judge the fight? All the time. All the time. Okay. And you will call it the way you see it? Yes, sir. All right. And here's our very lovely timekeeper, Jackie Frazier. Yeah. Jackie Frazier. Yes, all right. So you will be keeping the time uh, this morning. Oh, yes, I right. will. You know there are two-minute rounds. 
You got it. Who else do we have there, Gary? Also, I just want to introduce you to our referee. He's a veteran of over 250 amateur bouts. This is George Ward. Oh, hey, George. How are you doing? How are you? Well, uh, there is a, a uh, I see the fight is getting serious. I see everybody in the ring. I see Michael Buffer there. First, what I'm going to do is let the fighters enter the ring. Now coming in is Angry Black, making his entrance into this boxing arena. Finally, the contention for attention begins. As you can see, Angry Black has on his Everlast headgear. He is uh, fitted with 16-ounce gloves, Brett Haber, and he looks tough. He is a specimen. He is clearly, clearly the fitter of the two fighters, Howard. He looks very intense, very focused. He's making his way into the ring. There he is! He looks angry. They call him Angry Black for a reason. And now, entering the ring. The crazy cabbie is making his way toward the ring. Standing six foot two, Howard, at 32 years of age, weighing in yesterday at 295 pounds, the fittest he's ever been, the fittest he's ever been. And uh, Beetlejuice, of course, is in his entourage as well, dressed as Don King, if you notice. Again, unfortunate. I'm going over to Michael Buffer, who's going to introduce Marianne from Brooklyn for the start of the Star Spangled Banner. Go ahead, Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWF New York here in Times Square, New York City. It's time for your main event. This is the contention for attention. At this time, would everyone please rise as we honor America with our national anthem to be performed by Marianne from Brooklyn. She's draped in an American flag. Oh, say can you see by the dawn From the Howard Stern Radio Show. Uh, let's get her ready to rumble! Yeah! That's it. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black and weighing in at 196 pounds. He comes from and represents North Jersey. His boxing experience, he claims to have over 100 amateur bouts. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the African-American pride of the Connecticut School of Broadcasting, Angry Black. Angry Black is walking around the ring defiant. He is ready. He looks a little nervous, wearing the cutout towel. The right. Fighting out of the Ola right Tyson. Corner. Also wearing black, his weight, 295 pounds. He's from the mean streets of Minneapolis, Minnesota. His experience, he claims to have over 100 street fights. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the pride of gay, airborne crackheads the world over, <laughs> Crazy Cabby! Crazy Cabby! Kane is in his corner. Cabby is taking off his robe. He's hitting his gloves together. He looks ready, and he looks heavy. There's no hidden below the belt, okay? Oh, shucks. Uh, <laughs> keep it fair, keep it clean, yeah. stay apart, listen to my commands at all times. Okay, if there's a knockdown, you go to the nearest neutral corner and stay there until I say box. Follow my instructions at all times. And if there's four knockdowns in the fight, the fight will be stopped. Three in one round will be stopped. Okay, good luck to both of you. Kevin, no eating in between rounds. And good luck to both of you. Set to begin. Fighters are ready. The bell, and we have begun round 
one. Wild swinging by Crazy Cab and connecting wildly to the head. A left, right, hooks. Hooks left and right from Cabby. He's pinned hey, him against hey, the ropes. Angry hey, Black is pinned back. against the ropes, and we have a break by the referee. Already, Angry Black appears to be shaken. Cabby being given instructions not to hit on the break. They are back in action. Angry Black trying to get in there. Four, five uppercuts in a row from Crazy Cabby. Clearly controlling. Again, a break from the referee. Angry Black pinned against the ropes. It is a mismatch to this point. Crazy Cabby clearly overpowering the 100 pound his junior. Angry Black, they once again connect in the middle of the ring. Left hands. Now Angry Black beginning to connect with the right. The left hook. The left hook from Cabby. He's pushing him, muscling him into the ropes in the corner. Punch after punch and a break. A break from the referee and a hit on the break. A dirty hit on the break from Angry Black. Clearly against the rules he's being instructed and warned. At the same time, Crazy Cabby being instructed not to hit below the belt. Remember, Angry Black only got his cup just before the fight. Again, they converge in the center of the ring. It's a clutch. A clear low blow, a clear low blow from Angry Black. The rules being flouted in this very first round. The referee was trying, low blow. trying to break the two fighters. I think Cabby gave the low blow. Yeah. Cabby executed the low blow. Yeah. His headgear is askew. And that was intentional. Angry Black has gone to one knee thanks to the low blow from Cabby. He is shaken. His testicles are in pain. Right. Angry Black. What do you think so far, Brett? It looks like Cabby is oh, oh, Cabby, wait. but finally a connection oh, from Black. And a right hook from Cabby. They're both exchanging blows in the center of the ring. This is the fight we've been looking for. A left jab from Angry Black connects. And again, they clench. The fatigue already, Howard, beginning to set in in round one. And they are broken. Cabby is winded. Look at him trying to catch his breath. And there's the bell. There's the bell. Oh, Ending oh, round oh, one. Oh, An eventful oh, round oh, one. Howard, Howard. Brett. Brett. Cabby Robin. Is using Cabby is being a very, he's being a very dirty fighter. He's holding his man and hitting him. He's intentionally hitting below the belt. Unbelievable what I'm seeing here. This is one of the most exciting fights I've ever seen. And the bell and rings. And there is the bell for round two. The fighters are back in the center of the ring. Both fighters standing. Angry Black with the gloves together. And here, here we they go. go. We have resumed once again. Left jab from Cabby. He's getting the punches in, but Angry uh -oh. Black looks for doing it. Oh. And Crazy Cabby is down. Down goes Crazy Cabby. It looked like he slipped. Down slip. goes Crazy Cabby. Now, Brett. The count is being given. It is ruled not to have been a slip. It is ruled to have been a knockdown. The standing eight count being administered to Crazy Cabby. He looks to have his wits about him that is ruled a knockdown. Did you think it was a slip? I think it might have been a slip, but they are back connected. And Angry Black again hitting the right hooks. And Crazy Cabby just barreling him into the ropes. But he responds, come off the ropes, and hits with right hooks. Right hooks, and Crazy Cabby responds, swinging wildly with no direction and purpose. A right hook from Angry Black. They exchange punches one after another. This is the best action we've seen in the fight so far. They clench in the middle of the ring, fatigue, obviously beginning to take its toll on Crazy hey, Cabby. His activity bring diminished and we have a break. Bring bring. Step back. Step back. Uh, what is going on, Brett? Step this is insane. They are exchanging punches one after the other. They are not afraid to engage. We were fearful that they would both be weak, but they are not afraid to engage. Cabby is tired, though, and while he came out strong in the first round, he's had... Oh, there's oh, the uppercut. The right uppercut haymaker from Crazy Cabby connects and staggers Angry Black. They engage once again in the center of the ring. Punch after after punch standing toe to toe, right jab from Cabby, another one, Angry Black against the ropes, he is staggered, he is on Queer Street, and oh my God! and he's wrapped it up Crazy Cabby, he is hurt, he is hurt, he is clearly hurt, Angry, Angry Black is hurt. Angry Black is hurt, Cabby just pummeled his face. And Cabby's coming back right in hook with... again, Cabby is inside with the right hook, Angry Black responds with the one-two combination, left jab from Cabby, and just pushing him, clearly pushing him and using his weight to throw him into the ropes. Crazy Cabby is now Tangled in the ropes, his bulbous body unable to be disentangled. Cabby is definitely tired. Look at him. But he did connect with a series of punches. Yeah. And they're at it once again in the center. Uh -oh. oh, left hook from Angry Black at the bell. At the, at bell. the bell. Three right. left right. hooks. Right. The bell is sounding. Break it up. Referee, get in there and break it up. Angry break it up. Black is in the corner on the floor. Somebody Cab break this up. Somebody Cabby. gain control. Wait of this a minute. Match. Brett, Cabby fell on Angry Black. Cabby is using his weight to manhandle Angry Black. I see blood from the nose of Crazy Cabby. Oh. Crazy Cabby is bleeding profusely from the left nostril. The corner man must attend. Blood oh, the is doctor is the examining doctor Cabby. Called. Cabby's bleeding, Howard. He is. Hey, angry a lot of blood coming from his nose. And Angry Black looks like he is exhausted. They were pinup. Round three on 
see the tide has turned. Angry Black is, is beating them. And they're back on. Back at it in round three. Punches exchange. And Angry Black has got a second win. He's getting headlocked by Crazy Cabby and they break it. But, you know, Crazy Cabby's throwing a lot of leather. Crazy, and here they go engaging. The left jab misses from Crazy Cabby and again punches behind the neck of Angry Black. This is a sign of fatigue. This is Cabby a has Angry Black tied up. Action. Yeah, he's at, got him in a headlock. This is he not wrestling. What did the doctor say during the break? Uh, that uh, Crazy Cabby is fat. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the way, man. Jerry Cooney trying to tell no. me something. What is it, Jerry? Pass him cigarettes and uh, get him the ice cream. <laughs> Cabby's and corner. Oh, a big right hook from Cabby. Stop, stop, and again, stop, he's punching. Stop, stop, stop. See, this stop. is where it gets sloppy. Let go, let go. Go, go. Cabby's corner giving him cigarettes between punches. Uh, punches. Very unorthodox, very unorthodox training method. I've never seen anything like it. So working. far, it's been working for him, though. Right. This, is, this is where Crazy Cabby had wished he mixed in a salad. Left jab connects to oh. Angry Black, and now he's against the ropes, and Cabby connecting with a 1 2 3 and combination. Angry Black tied him up. Right, right, They're now right, falling right. all over the ring. The back. It's a difficult the fight, isn't it? Yes, it is. The difference between rounds one and two and round the three back. is clear. The fatigue <laughs> is. Insane. Burn. Who is uh, winning this fight? It's hard to say. All right. I think and it's going to be left to the judges. Left oh, wait. Oh, what just a happened? big haymaker from, from Crazy Cabby and the bell ring. The bell ring to save Angry Black from what have been certain A games. big haymaker wow. from, from Crazy Cabby at the end. He just pummeled Angry Black. It's and beginning. We're underway. It's beginning. We're underway in round four. It's hard to call who's winning. They're clenched in the middle of the ring. And big uppercuts from Crazy Cabby are connecting wildly on the head of Angry Black. He is being warned, Crazy Cabby, not to hold the head. He's already had a point deducted for that infraction. And they're at it again. Oh, and he's staggered. Angry Black is staggered by the right hook of Crazy Cabby. He's out on his feet, and again they break. Crazy Cabby connects only periodically, but when he does, they're strong. They're haymakers. The right hook, the right hook, at, and he just throws him down. An absolute ignoring of the rules. That is not a knockdown, that is a throwdown. I turn to Steve Austin and Triple H and ask them if they've ever seen a throwdown in wrestling that egregious. No, that was rotten. Here we go. This is smart by Cabby. He's getting a suck to win here. Oh, the right hook connects again. When he can get in there, he's hitting him hard and to the head. Multiple shots now in this fourth round. Although the fatigue is clearly now again manhandling him into the ropes. Break, break apart, let him go. Get off the ropes. Get off the ropes. Right now, Crazy Cabby closing in on what has to be coronary arrest, if not at least an angina. Cabby. Cabby A pummeling. major connection. By Angry Black. Oh. <laughs> Looked like Cabby got a shot. <laughs> oh. Break, break, break. You know, the referee is having a very difficult time with these fighters. They're falling on top of one another. Oh, and, and Crazy Cabby is taunting him. He raised his right hand to show no protection, and he got hit in the face. That's right. He tried to show off, and he got hit in the face. To a neutral corner, Cabby. I know the headgear. We have a headgear adjustment going on for Angry Black. And the wow. bell is rung. The bell is rung. The boxers in the center of the ring touch gloves. Out Bring it on. All right, this is it. This is it. This is for all the marbles. This is the end. I hope Google they know. bragging rights, and they're back at it in the center of the ring again. Crazy Cabby, Cabby clutching, just pounding rabbit punches on the back of Angry Black's head. Angry Black was pushing into him, though, Brett. Oh, double connections on right jabs. They both connect at the same time. Angry Black trying to shove Crazy Cabby into the corner. He knows he needs to score points in this final round. I'm looking at Gabe Ramon's ass. I'm very disturbed over here, Brett. Try not to do that. Okay. <laughs> Those are very strong ropes. Again, we're in the final round. Cabby looking to connect. Angry Black gets a left hook across. Angry Black has the right forearm under the chin of Crazy Cabby, trying to hey, keep Cabby hey, off balance. Hey, Again, they're clutched, they're tired, but they're But literally, fatigued. they're just mauling each other. It's not pretty fighting, Robin. <laughs> I was trying to make my way over to the uh, corner for uh, Angry Black to find out what they were thinking, but it's impossible you to get over there. You cannot get through the crowd. The left uh -oh. jab connects from Crazy Cabby and a right oh. hook from Angry Black. They're both exchanging punches. The right hook from Cabby, he's trying to throw him down. He's trying to force him down. The referee hey, must break hey, it up. Cabby hey, pinned against the ropes. I feel very fearful for the people in the first row behind Cabby. <laughs> I think uh, Cabby just blasted one in my face. Hey, Kane and... Cabby's oh, flirting with somebody. Oh, oh. Cabby's picking up chicks during the fight. <laughs> Left jab oh. connects. Oh. Right hook connects from Cabby. Again. A right uppercut connects from Cabby. The right overhand. Oh. The left 
uppercut. Can't be connecting five, right, six right, punches right, in a row. Right. He has nothing What's left. He's working on fumes, Howard, but he's getting it done. I don't see Angry Black putting out anything. He's not oh. got anything left. He got to be leaning on the ropes. Where's Angry Black's energy, Howard? Oh. Ooh. Oh Double one-two combination. Cappy is connecting and he is winning this fight. Bam! Again! You must watch this. out of gas. They're giving everything they have. Oh right goodness. hook from Cappy is pinned against the ropes. They are totally and completely drained, Howard. Angry Black goes to his knees. He is completely out of gas. He has nothing left. And there is the bell. It is over. What do you make of this fight, Robin? What the heck happened? What happened at the end? I saw Angry Black that fall to one knee. Angry Black was strictly out of gas, Howard. We thought that Crazy Cabby would be the one to be fatigued, but in the end, it was Angry Black who had nothing left to give, that and I think this might be the Cabby's fight. Let me just say, the two fighters are hugging in the center of the The two fighters are hugging. It was a great fight. I've never seen anything like it. I've got to get myself into that ring. I've got to work my way over there and find and out I what got to say, Crazy Cabby has a chance of winning this fight. The Heat Wave Day Marathon. I am what you get. More than eight hours of surf, sand, sun, and sizzling swimwear. Catch the latest wave of trends in beach fashions. I like small bikinis. Or simply sit back and take in the beauty of it all. Here's to doing a photo shoot in Maui. Right on. Yay. Isn't nature just awesome? E's Swimsuit Tsunami, this Monday at 10, only on E. Mm -hmm. Michael Ladies Buffett. and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards. Hector Macho Camacho scores it for... Guys, spread it He has it for Angry Black. Uh, what? Controversy. We already knew Mark that. Mark scores it for Cabby. Oh. It's going to be a split decision, Howard. A split decision. And Arturo Gotti scores the bout. Even, it's a three-way split. The bout is a draw. Oh, my God. Wait a second. What the hell? Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. A gross miscarriage of justice. Who do you think was robbed, Brett? I Who? think the crazy cabbie was robbed of this victory. Let me try and make my way over. Angry Black, it was a split decision right down the middle. What do you make of this? I'll tell you, big man, it was a tough fight. Cabby ain't no punk. All that, all that I said on the air, I take it back. He came in like a man. He put his hands up. He roughed me up when he had to. Cabby, you got my respect. I bust your balls, but you came like a man. We got to do it again, baby. Six months. You want a rematch. rematch? We got to do it again, baby. Challenge to rematch. People are screaming right now. They want you to go another round. Cabby, I don't think I can go another round. How about you? Don't you? you don't want to go another round, do you? I could go ten more rounds. <laughs> I got the heart of an elephant, baby. You said we do. to back it up. <laughs> But I want to say, I want to say, good fight, Angry Black. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Howard, Howard, two, two real men. Are you upset with the draw, Cabby? I'm, 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 I'm sound redundant. And now it's going to kill some. <laughs> like this. Yeah, yeah, All right, so you guys try to settle this. I'm kind of disappointed I, that I we didn't get Michael a decision. Buffer Will a Cabby insight. take a rematch? Hold on. What did you Michael know, Howard, Buffer have to say? you got to realize when they added these scorecards up, I'm believing they're difficult to read, but that deduction of points for Cabby. Cabby, you would have won the fight had you not had point deductions for the low blows. Did you hear that, people? I would have won! What a day at the WWF New York. If uh, Cabby didn't hit the low blow, it would have been a one for Cabby. I give Crazy Cabby respect, and I also give Angry Black respect. And I thought it was an exciting moment, if not for boxing, for at least the moment in New York, and this is exciting. Yeah, it was a very physical fight. It's one of the most physical fights I've ever seen. There's a rematch. I'm definitely showing up. Cabby, I'm reiterating again. I broke your balls on the air. You came in there like a man. You took it to the street when you had to. You hit me with some shots. I felt them, baby. It was a great fight. You know, like I said, right first punch he got me with, when I sat in the corner, I thought he broke my jaw. I'm gonna tell you right now, you want a rematch? As long as the money's right, dog, we get it all. We get it all. Black oh. man can beat the black man, and he just proved it. Then won't you bring, won't you bring your ass in the ring and fight it. me now? Beat my ass. I want to see you take him, because you know what? You don't speak for me, and you don't speak for any of the white race in here. You're a bigot. You suck. You suck. You're a piece of garbage. I got a new acronym for you. It's KKK. Kissing Cabby's crack. Right uh oh, Cabby oh, no, is no, pulling his no. pants down. Oh, my God. There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Daniel, do you have your. Daniel.
Daniel, what oh. do you make of that? That's unfortunate. You kiss that, you bigot! Today, it was a great fight. I think I got robbed. But, uh, <laughs> I want to thank the WWF and, of course, the Howard Stern Show. Oh. Everybody give it up for the Howard Stern thank Show. You. Thank you. At 30 seconds, somebody's showing some skin and you're all out of here without tickets. 29.